Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Dynamo video. In this one, we're talking about prize picks for Tuesday, December 19th. And in this video, we have five picks for you guys to consider. So stay tuned in the video for all five of the picks we have here. If you guys are not in the private Discord, definitely get in here. We have five plus cappers that have been giving out picks on all sports and have been hitting. You can see over here some massive hits in the discord so definitely get over here we have picks every single day outside of the videos for you guys and post picks on the weekends as well so get in the discord here you get access to five plus cappers plus our projections that we run every single morning less than a dollar per day we'll see you over in the discord let's get into this video the first game we're going to here is going to be the bucks game and we got a couple of unders for this game, we're going to Damian Lillard under his PRA against San Antonio. I think that this game is just going to be a massive blowout against San Antonio. He's been playing really bad. And the Bucks, you know, I think they're going to really take care of business in this game. Damian Lillard, his PRA is at 39.5, which is a bit high. We've seen Lillard with some massive games in the last two, 55-42 before that, just 31 and 27 and 38, which is definitely under 39 and a half. We could come look at this one in Outlier, which is a great tool that has a seven day free trial that's going to be linked down below in the description if you want to take advantage of that seven day free trial. Highly recommend you do because I use this every day to come up with my props and bets. So, PRA on the season. He's hit this in 38% of games. Not great over here. You can see the rankings, though. Spurs, terrible rankings, 27th, 28th, and 28th. In the league, in points and rebounds and assists. But against point guards, they're a little better here. 24th, 10th, and 20th. So, Damian Lillard, I think, you know, going to be a blowout. He's not going to play his full allotment of minutes here. And we can see, just hit this in 38% of games. Something else you can do here on Outlier, which is pretty nice, is filter by minutes played. So if we go down and give Lillard 35 minutes or less, he's only hit this over in 2 of 11 games. And we expect it to be a blowout, so he's going to play less than 35 minutes. And that's just 18% of games so far when he's played less then 35 minutes that he's going to hit this one. So definitely am liking this one on the under. If we're expecting this not to be that close. And then I'm going to Giannis as well. Because his rebounds prop is insanely high at 12.5. And, and again, I think it's going to be a blowout. These guys are going to play less than 35 minutes. So going to Giannis here. Under 12.5 boards. 13 boards is a good amount here. For Giannis, if we come back to Outlier that does have that free seven-day trial that I highly recommend checking out, we can look at Giannis on the boards over here in 2023. He's only got this in seven of 25 games, 28%. He's been hitting it more recently, but the first, like, that might be like 12 games. He never got 13 boards, so... I think it's an overcorrection in these last three games with 14, 8, and then 17. You can see San Antonio is allowing the 28th the most rebounds per game. But against power forwards, if we filter over here, they're ranked ninth, only allowing 9.9 .9 per game to power forward. So we actually like that for this under on Giannis in a game where I don't think he's going to play more than 35 minutes. It's going to be a... Blowout, so for Giannis and Dame going under on these two guys. There's only four games on this game slate, so we got to pick and choose here these games for the next one. Going to Nurkic and for Nurk, we're going over his PR points plus rebounds 25 and a half. And this pick is actually from Odds Jam over here. If you take a look. One of their top picks on Odds Jam, another great tool here. They do have a seven-day free trial as well, similar to Outlier. That'll be linked down below. And basically how Odds Jam works is they take player prop sites like 
prize picks that we're on right now. They compare this to other sports books. So you can go prize picks, underdog, thrive. But compared to FanDuel, we got prize picks 25.5, FanDuel 26.5. Every other site over here, 26.5. So getting a good deal on Nurkic here. Playing against his old team, I think this is a good spot for Nurk as well. So we're going to take the over on 25 and a half here. They've been using him probably too much, in my opinion, in this offense. But we'll take that for this prop at a bit of a savings here. And I think he's in a good spot against his old team to go over this. So definitely we'll be taking Nurk here. And then for the next one. We're going to a massive under here. We're going John Morant under his PRA, his first game back. We're taking the under here. No one really knows how many minutes he's going to play, what kind of condition he's in, what they're going to do with him. And then they're just throwing out 36 and a half PRA. So if he gets 20 points and six assists and six rebounds, That's probably a pretty good debut for a player just coming back in the middle of the season. And that's 32 PRA. So really, Jaw needs like 25, 6, and 6 to hit this. And I think that's just too ambitious for Jaw coming back against the Pelicans who aren't the worst. So I'm taking the under on Jaw. It just seems like too high of a line when you don't know he could easily play less than 25 minutes in this game and just not have his shot under him. And I think he's going to have to score, you know, at least like 25 to hit this PRA. So definitely going to be taking the under on jaw here in his first game back. I think this is just a crazy line we have here for jaw. So going to go ahead and just lock him in. I know he hit this a bunch last year, but it's just completely different scenario that we have this year in his first game in the end of December here so not loving jaw here going to under on him and then the next one we're going to go to is Tatum and we're taking another under so we do have four unders in this video I'm not afraid to take unders like a bunch of other YouTubers and cappers we're going under Tatum his PRA against Golden State Golden State They have just been bad, and I think we're going to see a blowout. Honestly, a big part of player prop betting is predicting blowouts, especially in the NBA, and I think Tatum is going to go under because we're going to see a massive blowout in this game against Golden State. They've been playing atrociously. No Draymond. Curry's been playing really bad. Wiggins has been bad. I think it's going to be a blowout. The Celtics are going to really take care of him. 42 and a half. We need 43 from Tatum. In his last five, he hasn't gotten more than 41. And now against Golden State, who is a definite blowout candidate, they want him to get 43 in this game. I just think that the unders are looking really good today. So that's going to be my last pick here. Jason Tatum under his PRA. I think it's going to be a blowout. You guys might have noticed by now that a lot of these lines are changing. And if you want to get in on these lines, we do post them in the private Discord before these videos come out. So definitely get in there. I know a ton of you guys who watch the YouTube videos are already in here. It's less than a dollar per day or less than winning a $5 three-pick slip, which we've been hitting all the time in the Discord with five plus cappers in there giving out picks plus our projections. Definitely get in here. If you're not, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next video.